Hey, how's it going? I'm Malachi Greb, CEO and engineer of Elite Automation. Today, we got a very exciting topic and we're gonna talk about events. If you follow me at all, then you know I like to execute quickly. Uh, this is gonna be kind of one of those videos because I just wanna give you all a quick rundown of some different events that I'm 110% going to this year. Already booked and registered, got hotels mapped out. And it's a prerequisite to a longer video that I think we're gonna have more content with a ton more of events in it. Now I have a list of events and I just wanna say thank you to Jake Hall. Uh, he posted a very good list of events that had the location of where they're gonna be at and then also dates. So we're gonna do something along those lines. Uh, we're gonna take that list that he he's uh, put online and shared with us, and then we're going to uh, kind of do a little bit extra stuff with it, like maybe put some websites with it. Just overall, just like anything and everything you may potentially need to find these events. But let's just go ahead and jump into this thing. And, and also, before I move on actually, there may be some uh, links down in the description below that will be to these events and they may not be there now and they may be there in like a week or so. So this, when this video goes up, my team will be constantly working on getting the sheet updated and it will update live. So uh, make sure you take a look at, the, at this video and, and look at that, that, that link in the bottom uh, to see if it updates, see if the description updates because I'm sure it will update over time, especially when we put in the more extensive work and do the longer event video. We'll put some of that description stuff in this video. So now that I got that part out of the way, there's three main events that are probably the biggest events in the US, and they're in three completely different geographical locations in the United States, which is great because uh, maybe travel is a big deal for you and it's hard for you to travel and uh, go to these far distances and these different locations across the country. Uh, at one point in time, it was difficult for me and uh, now now we've kind of just changed my mindset and it is completely worth it and, and i also want to throw that in there as well like even you as a personal level it is 110 percent worth you going to every single event that you could potentially go to that's one thing that kind of set me apart from from when i was working my nine to five job to starting my own company is i realized that like the owners of my company weren't attending events like this yet i would take i would take personal vacations to go attend events like this and attend, attend business events and things like that. Even invited the owners of the company to attend these events with me. And uh, when I started this company, my main focus was gonna be like, bam, I'm gonna hit up events. I couldn't compete with my last company, so I had to uh, find all new customers. And like, I was gonna be like, bam, we're just gonna go to events and we're gonna knock it out. Then COVID happened right when I started the company and uh, events were out of the question. No events for at least, you know, that well, two years. We're really just now kicking off on events. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer screen. I'm just gonna take you all through this kind of raw. Um, here we have the Modex event. One of the other events is IME West and the other event is Automate. So let's take a little bit of time and kind of go through each one of these events individually. So here we have Modex. Uh, all three of these events are incredible events. It's gonna have a ton of people there. Modex is is more of a what I consider like a logistics type of event. So uh, not like logistics in the in the sense of like shipping like freight, but uh, more like the AMR technologies, things along those lines. So supply chain solutions, equipment and technologies, smart thinking. So. It's gonna be an automation manufacturing event. I, you know, I haven't been to this particular event, but my understanding of it, it's 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 about moving things around. It's about the way you inventory things. It's about kind of your your logistical side of your manufacturing process. Uh, there's gonna be a ton of people at this event. I mean, as you can see, uh, where was it at? Somewhere in here. They have they even have Shaq at this event. So they have some big name individuals at this event, and they have a lot of. Uh, individuals who are leaders and, and thinkers of our, of our space, leaders and thinkers of our space. So this particular event, like I said, they're at all three in different locations. This particular event is in Atlanta, Georgia, and it's gonna be March 28th through the 31st. Now that's actually why I did this video uh, as quickly as I did and the way I, why I'm executing it the way I am is because March 28th is right around the corner. It's literally next week. So like 
if you're type to execute and jump on it, you might still have time to get to this event. And, and the, the, the other video that comes out, by the time it gets edited and everything like that, to be honest, you're, you're, the event has probably already happened. Uh, we might make it happen before, while we're at the event or something. So, uh, definitely an event to attend. I think it's going to be a great event. I think all these events are going to be great events. The next one I'm going to take you into is IME West. So, this uh, event actually houses many events. And I'm not going to say it's the largest event, but it it is definitely a large event and is it is it comprises of a lot of industry specifics which i think is is, is a pretty cool dynamic and uh opens up a ton of different types of customers and solutions and we'll dive into that here in a second so this one is located in anaheim california so this is gonna be way over on the west coast uh these these are in like three different geographical locations you have you have one off the east east south the west south and then the north mid of the country so i feel like there's an event that you could go to no matter where you're at in the country you could probably pull it off and make it happen uh some of these events we're flying to some of these are driving to and you know we'll drive 8 12 hours depending on on how it maps out the day and how things work let's go ahead and jump in and break down this ime west event so the two main events that that i kind of find uh to be the most exciting as kind of my industry is the ATX West, which actually Jake Hall is going to be a uh, guest speaker at, which I'm going to be a speaker at next year. They don't know it yet, but hey, put in the good word and we'll make it happen. So ATX, ATX West is essentially like the robotics proportion of this event. So this is going to be any type of like automation type of topic. So this will this will be full of a lot of people who are my competitors, but will also probably be full of a lot of potential customers who are willing or who are interested in automating their current processes and also looking to stay on the leading edge, which are my favorite type of customers. Going back in here, now we have D and M. D and M uh, is basically it's manufacturing like tooling, trends, technologies. It says it right down there. But this is going to be some of your um, newer technologies, some newer ways to go about doing tooling and kind of just getting creative like mechanical design and that aspect of things. Now, I'm actually uh, extremely excited about pretty much all these events. Uh, Plastec, to be honest, I'm pretty excited about Plastec because a lot of people don't know this, but there was a small period of time where I was a mold setter and a process technician for injection molding plastics. Uh, so... I kind of have a little bit of a love for like the plastics industry and I've also have quite a few customers that are plastics customers so this obviously is gonna be like any type of like innovation it's revolved around plastics uh, it's gonna be like new new generations of injection molding machines as you can see here on my screen now it's got 3d printing I'm not sure if it's gonna have like AMR technologies, but something we've provided for quite a few of our customers to help in their labor shortages. And it's made a pretty significant impact enough to be able to start doing these things like nationwide. So the plastics is definitely one I'm interested in. This event is supposed to have like 13,000 people at it. So super excited about this one. Uh, Westpac is just basically packaging. Like just, it's gonna be innovations on the packaging side of things. Probably whether you bag it, box it, doesn't even matter. Uh, different like right here. It's a, some type of filling system that one's gonna be pretty interesting as well especially because we don't really specialize in like Filling systems per se. We're more like a robotics type of company So I'm really interested to see what's out there and like the filling and the the bagging industry Also medical medical is just pretty cool I mean, we're not really too deeply involved in like the med medical industry because there are a lot of constraints that, that are involved in the medical industry and to be honest we just haven't been exposed to a ton of customers that uh, have been needing our services. Let's go down here to the bottom where it actually shows a few things, uh, a few of the metrics of this event. So there's gonna be 70 countries here, there's gonna be 1,400 exhibitors, 1,300 attendees, and a 300,000 square foot floor. So this event is just gonna be jam packed. It's on the West Coast anyway. We're gonna check out the beach while we're there. I'm just kidding, probably not. I'm gonna be way too busy to even think about the beach. I'll probably just get there, get to the event, do my thing, and then probably just be leaving. That's just how I do things. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys to the last event right here. It's Automate. Automate's probably the most well-known event, and really it's all revolved around automation, which is 
super cool. Obviously, I love automation. I wouldn't be doing automation if I didn't love it. But just seeing the different technologies. I mean, a lot of the stuff, like, it's hard for me to be ultra impressed by just because, like, I understand the technology behind it. But there's always something that's, like, really cool that you haven't seen yet or that somebody's doing something a little bit different with it. And so you get some cool ideas about what's going on within the industry and, and how people are, are trying to utilize their technologies. You know, Elite Automation is a company. We're basically like a technology company. So we're looking to do, like, you know, vision and line tracking and, and, and doing, like, that type of pick and place with a robot or, you know, a pick and place with vision location you know vision verification different things like that uh, a lot of like line tracking linear rail systems so technology side of things is where we really get excited about and where we where like our core business model is so this event is going to be a ton of fun uh it's going to be on june 6th through june 9th uh 2022 and the links for these different uh show websites will be down in the in the comments below and, and there's like little, there's, a, there's quite a few more events. They're definitely not to the size of these three events, but I'm sure there's gonna be some pretty sizable events. And that's part of what our team is gonna be working on is, is creating that list of the different events that are outside of these three that we're like 110% showing up to. I'm probably gonna be at all the events. So if you're doing any events this year, you're probably gonna see me maybe once, maybe twice, maybe like 20 times. But that's the game plan and the strategy uh, for this 2022 year. It's a year of events. We've been locked up inside inside of our houses, inside of our businesses for two years. And uh, I think it's time to get out and explore the world again. Yeah, for, to be honest, for me to, to, say, to say much about Automate, it's kind of hard for me to speak too much on the Automate event just because like, I'm a, I'm a systems integrator. I've been working in this industry for like 10 years now. And I pretty much just understand everything so i'm not positive exactly what you guys would like to know about this event there's going to be robots there's going to be like servo uh drive systems there's going to be you know vision there's going to be every single probably brand of robot that you could think of conveyors vision systems vacuum generators vacuum cups like the whole the whole nine yards different servo drives and systems like it's just gonna be loaded come down here it's kind of a picture of like a BIW line by the way we have some BIW line experts on our uh, team so if uh, you haven't have any BIW line body in weld lines that you need automated hit us up and I kind of forgot to mention but this one is located in Detroit Michigan which you have probably already seen but like I said these three these three different events are in three different locations in the United States so I think it's highly plausible that you can make it to one of these events because you have to be somewhat close to one of them and if not stay tuned hit that subscribe button because when we come out with a longer video there's 110 percent uh, events in, in like some different locations that are not these three locations like I seen one that was like Boston Matter of fact, I think I have it here in the spreadsheet right here. We'll just pull it up real quick. So if you wanted to, you could even take a quick screenshot of this. But uh, here's actually a list of events. These ones actually are the ones we got from J. Call. Uh, and then we're going to be doing some more analyzation on. We're going to be creating some websites. We're going to build out this spreadsheet a little bit more. So hit that subscribe button. We'll try to put that 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 content in the in the description of this video here. But it'll if it's not in this particular video, it'll 110% be in the next video that we do. That is for all of these events, and we'll kind of go through and talk more in depth about these events. We're going to do some more research and really dive in and have some more like details about these particular events. So uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to see those type of events. If you want to see those type of details for these events, go ahead and do that. I think this video is probably pretty useful for some people, especially down in the description where, where we have some of this detail and some of these ways to find these different events. I know for me, like, I'm not super versed in, like, finding events and event planning and all that good stuff. So, like, I know this is going to help a ton of, uh, of individuals in being able to find events and, and, and also just having this list alone. Uh, Jake, I just want to say thank you for uh, posting this list online. I'll have a link to his post down in the description as well. Uh, so that way you can directly see at least a bit at a bare minimum it'll be this content right here uh so yeah guys if this video was useful for you guys let me know in the comments below let me know what was most useful about this video and what type of videos you'd like to see into the future we do everything from like 
uh, engineering setup type of videos to uh, just talking about the industry, how to get involved in the industry, schooling for the industry, uh, events. So we're kind of just like very diverse and like just immersed in the in the automation industry and what's going on in manufacturing. So thank you guys for viewing and I'll catch you on the next one.